Have you ever wondered, why am I conscious? I mean, why the F am I conscious? You know, why do I even have desires or dreams or anything? Why does it keep coming? Why do my neural synaptic networks just keep exploding with thoughts and words and patterns? And why do I collect so much crap in my life? And why am I like this? You know, I mean, at the very, you know, I get asked the question, you know, why are we here? What is our purpose? Where are we going? And this is the, 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 the effing issue is that we don't know, you know, are we just biological creatures, spurts of sperm meeting egg and forming millions and millions of uh, out of millions at one chance an occurrence occurs and then we re procreate and recreate and we keep trying to do that and perpetuate our genes or are we kind of just lost in this wobbly universe that seems to be in this brain of mine and keeps exploding outwards. You know, what, what is the purpose of my life? You know, spirituality, religion, they've all tried to answer this, but nobody's got it right. You know, and when you think about it, after you've procreated, after you've replicated your genes, then what? What is your purpose? You don't have anything. You just just go should curl up and die somewhere. But what if the secret to a significant life was to figure out how to spend your life meaningfully, how to pass your time well? And that would change everything, wouldn't it? That means that you would have only X many years to effing live a good life and say, fuck it, just be. And, but most of us, we get stuck in this quagmire loop, toroidal loop of infinite chaos and pain and suffering. And we end up not knowing what to do with ourselves. And then we get to the end of life and we say, fuck, I've done nothing. And I have more regrets than I have joy. I have more misery and suffering than I have beautiful, blissful memories that I could enjoy. So what I realized after all these years of research into consciousness and metaphysics and mysticism and Tantra and Vedanta and everything I've studied is that the entire purpose of my life is to experience bliss, to be happy. Happy whether things are bad, happy whether things are good, so that when I get to the end of life, I have accumulated so much happiness, so much bliss, so many good peak experiences, as Maslow would call them, so many wonderful things in my neurons that store up such beautiful thoughts that I pass out of this physical form with this consciousness into the next one in a magical way. And if there is an afterlife, hallelujah, I go there happy that I had a good effing one in this life. So what is the purpose of my life? To be happy. And what is the purpose and why be happy? Because if I can pull myself towards happiness, towards equanimity, towards balance, towards samatha, towards knowing that this life is significant, that I did, I thought significant things, I made significant acts that I thought were significant, irrelevant of what society tells you, what religions tell you, what anybody tells you. Were you significant? Were you, did you help another person find happiness? Did you help the world in any way in your own stupid little way? If I can find that happiness, and while in this life I can trigger consciousness states that give me blissful, Ananda, 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 bliss, bliss, bliss. Then when I get to the end of life, I would understand that this journey was a good journey. And now off we go on the next one. Irrelevant of what occurs, rebirth, afterlife, heaven, who cares? This was a good journey. So your job to find purpose in your life to make this brain work for you, to make these genes work for you, to make your code work for you, is to become psychedelic inside yourself so that you 
can create and paint a wonderful, explosive new reality that you paint from the insides of your mind and you create them with beautiful palettes of experiences and colors and, and life and live life so fully that when you get to the end of it, everything seems to come together beautifully for you. Ari Om, that's it. Om Namah Shivaya, that's what they say. And Namah Shivaya is to dissolve into the vast nothingness. And that's what it's all about. So live well, my friends, and enjoy your journey. Om. Um.